One of the first things I do when I get to the shop every morning is turn the machine on. And last week I ran into an issue where I, when I went to cold start the machine, I got this error message, Z-axis fault, motor overload. Great. So first thing I do is go around the machine and power it off. Next, I go back to the cabinet and open it up. And here you can see we have all the axis amplifiers. We got A, X, Y, and Z. And we're gonna swap the Z and Y amplifiers to see if the problem follows the amplifier. That is to say, if I swap these two amplifiers, when I power the machine back on, is the Y axis going to be the one giving me the same issue now? That'll tell me if it is indeed the amplifiers that's the issue. So first thing you do is unscrew all the terminals, right? There's not a lot of connections and they're color coded and they're identical for every single amplifier. So it's easy to reconnect them. So using a Phillips screwdriver, I just go through and disconnect all the wiring and then pull it all out of the terminals. And the amplifier is actually held by two mounting screws in the back. You don't have to remove them, but loosen them enough to be able to slip the amplifier out. So this is the Z amplifier, right? This is the culprit. We want to see if this is the cause of the problem. So now that I got that out of the way, we do the same thing with the Y, right? Loosen all the terminals, unscrew everything. Loosen the mounting screws and slide the Y amplifier out. So now I'm, I'm putting the Z amplifier into the Y slot. Tighten the mounting screws and then go through and wire up all the cables. And now I'm mounting what was the Y amplifier into the Z slot. Again, mounting screws and then wire it up. So if the amplifier is a problem, what we expect to see now is the machine will give me a motor overload issue, but it'll say Y axis fault rather than Z. Power the machine on. And cold start. So it gave me an error here, but it wasn't quite clear for the camera. So I reset the emergency stop and did a cold start to get the message. And boom, Y axis fault, error number 18, servo amplifier fault. So that then tells us that the error is in fact the amplifier. And what we have to do now is replace it with a new one. I went ahead and bought a new amp from FadalCNC.com. It took a while for it to come in, but once it did, swapping it out is pretty easy. So now I'm replacing the Y amp, right? And screw everything. And slip it right out. I'm going to take the new amp, slide that in place, make sure not to damage any wiring. Once that's in place, go back around to the machine. Oh, forgot to reset the emergency. Cold start it. Boom, all is good in the world. So that's how you troubleshoot and replace the servo amp. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. And that's it.